Right, I'm about to try and start the 135. It's about one degree here in the shed. I'm having a bit of trouble with the starter solenoid. It's not keeping the starter motor engaged to the flywheel teeth. Um, so the starter motor keeps disengaging. Uh, the engine will do about two swings and then it will disengage. Usually she's really good at cold starts, but today I'm not too sure. I've got the battery charger on to boost the battery power to try and give the solenoid the best chance possible, but we'll see what happens. two swings and disengage. So I'll try again and see what happens this time. Give the battery a little time to bounce back. Yeah. Um, it's quite annoying. So I need to for work and I can't get it going. And there's no one here to give me a tow. I'm on my own. I can't, there's not much I can do to get it started. I don't want to try too much because I don't want to wear the teeth out. Turn. Now she's a good cold starter, but she needs more than one swing to get her going. There we go. Mm -hmm. see. That's the there's the solenoid, and it needs replacing. It's the magnet inside. There's, a, there's an electromagnet inside there. That's I guessing has completely worn out. So it just keeps letting go, and it keeps disengaging because it's spring. Or the starter motor is on a spring. It's spring loaded. Um, so it's a simple fix. I just need to replace this bit on top of the starter motor here. But it's just getting round to it and going somewhere to get a new part. Um, it, was, it was giving about one swing and then disengaging. Um, I was lucky I increased the battery charger output and that seemed to just help to keep it engaged for long enough to get her going. She started on about the fourth swing, which is with no heat, on a cold day with no manifold heater, that's not too bad at all, I don't think. Anyway. There we go. 